Hello and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to just take a few minutes and do a quick energy update for you because the earth is shifting in such amazing ways, but it is really taking a toll on the human experience. So I wanted to speak about that for a few minutes here and maybe help you understand what's taking place with your sleep issues or your body at this time. So uh, Wednesday night, uh, early Wednesday, I started to uh, feel a shift taking place. And I really wasn't aware of what it was because I was preparing for my Wednesday night class that I teach. And so as I was going through this um, activation that I was feeling, I decided to get in bed and let myself have a little bit of a, a timeout before I had to get on my class call and just allow myself to work within the energies to try and integrate what was coming through so that I would be you know, fresh for, for the call. Otherwise I could feel myself uh, kind of tanking out and uh, going through um, what felt like it was going to be a massive upgrade, right? And usually when we have those, we have to rest immediately and let the body do its integration as the cellular um, restructuring is taking place in the body. So I went, had my uh, 20 minutes uh, of downtime and felt rejuvenated. And I knew once I got on the call, I would even be more rejuvenated because the group would be holding space in the highest timelines for um, the integration to resolve. And that's exactly what happened. And then I found myself in higher self mode and was talking like I was, um, you know, uh, the ever ready rabbit with uh, like 50 battery packs. <laughs> so I was, uh, you know, just speeding away with the information that was coming through. And it was uh, quite interesting to see. Um, a little more lively than I am right now. This is all higher self coming through at this time. And you can always tell when it's me and then when the higher self kicks in, uh, because when it's me, it's I'm I'm slow, I'm very methodical with my words and I'm, I'm uh, really, you know, trying to focus. But when it's higher self coming through, it's kind of all just, you know, uh, flowing very quickly and very freely. So that's a good way for you to determine what stage you're in when you're noticing yourself shifting. So if you're finding yourself in these faster flows, um, that would be higher self coming through because the information is just there. And it's not like we have to think about it. It just comes through in its flow. So one of the things that I wanted to do was talk about these upgrades that we're going through uh, because they are affecting us in the physical sense and they're also affecting us in our dream state. Now, in a very physical way, Wednesday night after the class was over and I went to bed as I was laying down, I could feel my field around me um, kind of morphing, shifting. I could feel it kind of like almost as if like it was like a, an energy mass and it was going through a wave and then it would settle down and then another wave and I could feel it. I could feel it moving, you know, um, because I'm very in tune with my energy, uh, which is something that you could play with too, and really get in tune with your own energy as you're laying down and be very present within yourself. And I felt these little waves of energy, these surges of energy that came, and I could tell it was plasma energy that was coming through. Plasma feels very, very viscous when it comes through. It almost, for me, almost has like a a jello-ish kind of feel to it. Um, and so I could feel that and I knew plasma was coming through. Plasma makes us very cold when we're contracting and we're uh, you know, going through an upgrade. And then it, it makes us hot when we're going through the expansion from that upgrade that we just had. 
It also makes our stomach gurgle, right? It's like rotor rooter uh, going through the body, taking out whatever discordant energy is not uh, is not needed. Okay. And so that we can upgrade our, uh, spiritual body and, uh, our light body. So, um, so this was what was taking place on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night. Um, and then as that, as that energy was aligning itself, um, I was having very interesting dreams and the, the dreams that I was having were all very um, lucid dreams. And I could actually feel myself in the dreams engaging for the last few days more lucid than they've ever been ever before. Um, and, you know, rem like really being aware of what was taking place in the dream uh, as if I was in that reality, as if it was this reality. Okay, so that's how we're uh, accessing our multidimensional aspects, our multidimensional selves. And we're integrating and folding in these timelines or alchemizing these timelines, uh, merging these timelines, whatever you wanna say, however you wanna say it, we're, we're doing that, pulling them into this now moment now, okay? And I can tell you that um, what is taking place is, is gonna feel very, very real. Uh, one of the awarenesses that I had was in the past, even though I knew we were integrating dreams, it I would come back with the memory of only one dream and then I could pull it apart and say, oh, that was actually 15 different um, realities integrating and merging in one, making it feel like one dream. Now I come back and I know I was here, I was there, I was there, I was there, and it and I can feel each individual timeline, okay, in that dream, and now come back without the awareness of it merging into the one uh, dream that feels like that one dream was very confusing and distorted, right? It's no longer very much like that. It's more along the lines of me seeing each separate timeline as it is, which is becoming very interesting to me because we're, I could see how we're starting to work through these integrations, okay, and how it, how it is, um, uh, playing out in our sleep state and dream state. Okay. And it's also a very physical experience for us because these upgrades are making us very tired. So if you're feeling extremely exhausted, that's photonic light coming in and the photonic light is making us foggy, groggy, very sleepy, uh, which means that your body is needing to integrate heavy duty light frequencies that are coming in. And we have to go down to upgrade we have to sleep and rest in order to be able to upgrade. That's one of the key things that we need for our ascension, okay? It's very, very physical. And what I can tell you is, is that your back might hurt you, your sides might hurt you, and you might feel like you need to stretch or you need to roll out or you need to get a massage. And then you do those things and nothing is helping. It's because of these integrations that we're having. It's, you know, working uh, all of the cells in the body, plus it's working through the muscles and the tissues and the fibers and um, the myofascial or the fascia, right? Um, it's working through all of that, okay? So every component of our body is being targeted. And so we just have to be as gentle as possible and as loving as possible uh, to ourselves. That's so critical right now. I can't even explain to you how critical that is. Very, very important, okay? Um, so we're having these massive upgrades. We're gonna feel them in every sense. Um, when your headache eats because solar, everything is happening, solar flares, solar storms, um, you know, if you see a geomagnetic storm, if you see a CME, coronal mass ejections, that's all solar stuff. So when you see the solar, that's when we start to feel headachey, we get eye strain, um, third eye pressure, right? The head, the crown becomes very sensitive as consciousness is expanding. So now it seems we're going through a multitude of all of these things all at one time, whereas in the past, it was more like 
one thing would be targeted, right? We would have like the stomach gurgles and feel a little cold. And then we'd be like, oh, that's plasma. Or then we'd be headachy and it would just be headachy and nothing else was going on. And we, we'd be like, oh, that's solar happening. Or we would just feel very, very tired and very lethargic or foggy, groggy. And we could say, oh, that's photonic light coming in. Now it seems to be a little bit of everything or a lot of bit of everything, okay? And when I tune into the frequencies through my hearing, um, it's not just one frequency anymore. So it's one frequency or one high pitch frequency that's always changing. And then all of these little tones within, like overlaying them as if uh, like a melodic uh, song, uh, a light frequency song, if you will, okay, with all of these different tonal overlays over it, okay? So you might be hearing that as well. And those frequencies are helping us upgrade also. Very, very important for us to maintain and be aware of. And how we can use them to our benefit is to tune into them and see how our body's feeling so we can start to hear and sense which frequency it is that's working through us um, to the greater degree, okay? That's really important. So why is this happening? This is happening because Gaia is going through her massive shifts. We've been having a lot of um, stops lately where you know, you, you feel it in your body. It feels very, very quiet on the earth. Gaia feels quiet. It's not something you hear with your ears or you listen for with your ears. Sorry about that. Um, I guess the energy was too big that I was talking about my computer. Actually, uh, the internet just went out for a minute. So, uh, so, so these sudden stops with Gaia are not something that we are listening for. We're not hearing it. We're feeling it in our body. So we have to feel it. And in that moment, the earth feels very, very quiet. We want to start paying attention and tuning into these moments because they're very, very important for us to be in tune with Gaia and the, and the frequencies because uh, Gaia's magnetic uh, poles are shifting, right? The earth magnetics are shifting again. And so uh, if you've been following me or you've been taking my classes or doing any work with me, then you've heard me talk about the fact that we have a big shift coming up. So this next couple of weeks are going to present uh, a big shift, um, which is going to uh, be more alignment or realigning of the collective. Um, so it's going to bring through a greater awareness, okay? And so I'm sure in the physical, it's going to play out in its own way as well. Uh, but we have to be aware for the conscious states of being, which is super, super important, right? Because we want to stay in our state of divine neutrality and allow ourselves to um, be just in a, in a flow and not attached to any outcomes, okay? Still very, very important to be in that divine neutrality and in that, um, that state of oneness, okay? So important. So uh, keep that in mind because we need to be there for what is unfolding. And I don't see these magnetic shifts slowing down because what's happening is, is these template overlays of uh, the old 3D is, is starting to uh, shift and we're moving through the template of 4D and then the template of 5D, and then we're gonna be moving through 6D and 7D and so forth, right? So each shift is requiring something else and it's becoming very physical. It's affecting us in a very physical way. So this is really important for us to have this awareness that all of this is transpiring, not just on a spiritual level, but in a very physicalized way, okay? So again, I just wanna say that that for those of you that are still um, trying to ground the old way by going deep into the center of Gaia, I want to encourage you to, to just allow yourself to be in a state of oneness, right? And that would be meditating through the heart center and uh, really tuning into your heart center and coming into a very present state of being and not go down and anchor into Gaia, into the core. If you need to anchor into Gaia, just anchor into maybe the first 20 feet or so of the crystalline core, the crystalline grid that's under the uh, earth's surface, right under Gaia's surface. But we don't go down into the core anymore because Gaia is also in a physical ascension. Okay, so if you didn't watch my video on grounding, I will try to link it below. I'll try to remember after um, the video to, to post it below in the info box 
um, so that you can watch it because that she Gaia is also in such a physical ascension that it, it cannot support us anymore. We want to be in these higher states of consciousness. We want to be from heart center higher so that we can be in alignment with all of these higher light frequencies that are coming through now. Yes, we're going to feel a little uh, lightheaded. We're going to feel a little woozy. But after a while, the field adjusts. We adjust the, the, the nausea you don't have anymore, no vertigo. Um, no dizziness, right? That all we have because we're letting go, we're releasing, we're shifting, our field is shifting, okay? So it's very, very important to stay in that awareness and not be fearful of how you're feeling, that you're feeling high or you're feeling, you know, like you're flying um, because that's where we want, we want to be. We want to be in the higher uh, light frequencies, okay? So I hope that makes uh, sense to you. And so it's very, very important to practice that um, now moment being present within ourselves because things are manifesting super quickly in our reality, okay? And it's very, very important to monitor where we're placing our thoughts because if we're, if we're not paying attention and we're placing our thoughts in uh, something that's negative, then we're gonna attract that uh, negative vibration to us very, very quickly. And that's all going to play out in our reality. And, you know, so we want to manage where we're, where we're placing our thoughts. So if you aren't uh, doing the work to stay present, please do that work and be as present as you possibly can. Okay. Um, because we have to make sure that we're aligning our thoughts. So it could be something as silly as needing to get on the phone with a company to talk to them about something that you need them to change and being a little fearful that the call is not going to go the right way. And then all of a sudden at that moment, you remind yourself and go, well, that's silly that I'm afraid the call isn't going to go the right way because this is my reality. And it's going to work out exactly as I needed to. So I'm just going to see the end result being exactly what I needed to and it all going in the way that I needed to go. And then the, of course the call will go in the way that you needed to go. But if you get on that call and you're perceiving it not going in the way that you needed to go, that it's going to go in a negative way, then that's exactly what you're going to experience, that negativity, okay? So it's really, really important now more than ever to tune in so that you can be very present for what is playing out and you're always creating in the higher timelines, okay? It's really critically important. It's also important to give your body the proper amount of rest that you need because of the amount of plasma we have coming in. Dehydration is definitely on the forefront. So when your mouth is dry and you feel like cotton mouth, that is a sign that you are dehydrated. Please drink water. Okay. We need to make sure that we're staying hydrated. Uh, it's more important than ever. All right. So um, that's it for today. I hope this video is uh, helpful to you in some way, shape or form. As always, uh, I would ask that if you found this interesting or you found it helpful uh, in order to help me out, because I do share a lot of free content and bump me up into the algorithms, I ask you to give it a thumbs up and like this video. It helps me get up there so other people can receive this information. Uh, also, if you feel inclined to share it with people that you feel could benefit from it, maybe somebody is struggling right now, uh, I would appreciate that very much so that we get this information out there. Um, and then if you haven't subscribed and you're just stopping by um, and you find something that you like here, maybe look at some of my other videos and uh, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified when I have a new video coming out. Uh, to those of you that are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Those of you are new, thank you for tuning in and joining me. Please leave me a comment below if there's something that you would like me to talk about in the next video. Uh, sending you so, so much love. Thank you so much for all of your love and your support. I wish you a wonderful whatever it is that you're doing. Enjoy your weekend and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.